Cardia, it's my pleasure to introduce our next international speaker, Alfred Bosch from Esquerra Republicana de Catalonia, or the Republican left of Catalonia. Alfred was born and raised in Barcelona. He previously worked as a history professor in several prestigious universities and is also the author of several best-selling novels. He is currently the leader and spokesperson for Esquerra, or CAT, CAT-C, Independence Coalition in the Spanish Parliament in Madrid. <laughs> At the moment in the Catalonian region, there has been a renewed focus and support for independence from the Spanish state. Last year, on the 11th of September, National Day of Catalonia, over 1.5 million people took to the streets to demand their right to self-determination. 1.5 million. Alfred and Esquerra have been to the forefront of these demonstrations and are battling hard to secure their democratic right to hold a referendum on independence. In November last year, I submitted a parliamentary question asking Tánis de Eamon Gilmore whether he supports the right of the Catalonian people to self-determination. And while his answer was not as supportive as I would have liked, he did agree that it was up to the people to decide their own system of democratic government. Delegates and visitors, please give a bull of boss to Catalonian uh, leader, Alfred Bosch. Banakti owned Catalonia. Thank you. Well, I'm a Catalan. You are Irish. We are different. Being different is fun. Look at men and women. Isn't that fun? But we are equal, aren't we? And we believe in equality. You are Republicans, we are Republicans. So that's one of the things we should have very clear in mind. We are different, but we are equal. We believe in the government of the people, by the people, for the people. Nobody has more rights than anybody else. There should be no kings, no queens, no princes, no privileged. No, no person, no person should be commanding any other person. No nation should be commanding no other nation. Now, yes, no. I would like to pay a special homage to you people, as a people. Because there is an Irish lesson for us. And this Irish lesson says that the past is important. The past is important and has to be remembered. And those heroes who fell, those people who fought for a better world, are not gone. In a way, in a way, they're still here hovering over us somewhere. And they're telling us that the best way to honor them is pushing ahead. They're here. They're here. And they're telling us. And that's the Irish lesson. And we're listening to your lesson because it's important for us that the best memorial is in the future because the future is where all dreams live. And the future is where we're going to accomplish all our dreams and succeed. And those people who are not gone, who are still with us, what they tell us is that they want us to succeed in the future. That's what they're telling us. And that no matter how much injury, no matter how much pain we have endured, we should go for brotherhood. And that's the way for pushing ahead. Brotherhood with the enemies, yes, or with the former enemies. Brotherhood with the friends is easy. 
well, sometimes not that much, but it's easier, easier to be brothers with friends or with brothers than brotherhood with our enemies or former enemies. And what you're telling us, Irish people, and I want to thank you for that with all my heart, is that building a nation is about that. It's precisely about that. Not asking people where they come from, who they fought for, where their roots are. That's important. But that's not the most important thing in nation building. What you're telling us is that we should ask people where we want to go together. That's the question. And that's the way for building a nation. That's the way for conceiving the future as our driving force. And that's the way of making a better world for our kids, for the children of our children, and so on. Now, in my country, in Catalonia, we're starting to walk a unique path. A unique path that leads to our own spring. Spring in more than one sense. As uh, the speaker told us, we are organizing a referendum before the end of 2014. Now, the Spanish government is opposed to that, but we will do it. And we will do it because of what I was saying, because we are safe in believing that the future is where we want to live the rest of our lives. And we want to do it well. And we want to vote. And we want to get together, friends and foes, for building a new country. This road we are walking, this road is not a selfish road. It has nothing to do with ordinary party politics. This is different. This is a road that we want to walk towards justice and towards equality and towards freedom. This is a road that crosses all borders, that defies and even erases borders. Because this, in fact, is not a Catalan road. This is not only a Catalan or an Irish road or a Scottish road or a Welsh road or a Basque road not even an English or a Spanish road or an American road or an African or an Indian. This is the road of humankind. Of all those who believe that your freedom is also my freedom. That where one of us walks, there we are, the rest of us, also walking for him and supporting him because he's doing it for all of us. Sinn Féin, no, Sinn Féin, you're not walking alone, Sinn Féin. We're all with you, and you are with us in this road. <laughs> Don't be mistaken. Don't be mistaken. This cause, the cause you are furthering, and we are furthering, this cause is universal. We're actually fighting for the world. Yes, we're fighting for a better world. The world which we want to see tomorrow, where we want to, we want to see our children live. And this is the reason why I have come up here today to say thanks, Irish people. Thanks, Sinn Féin. We want to do it together all of us, with you. We love you, folks. Chokik Arlao. Eva Abu. Visca Catalunya Lliure. <laughs>